is up, beautiful people? My name is Kirby Hosman, and I hope you are as excited as I am to be a part of the PPAI Expo here in 2024. I always find this to be one of my favorite ways to kick off the new year, not only to get new ideas, but to kind of be re-energized and be reminded of why we do what we do. So today, I want to talk about how we might have a better, more successful year in 2024. And I want to talk about four things I'm seeing from really successful people that inspire me to be better. So four different things that successful people are doing to really rock out 2024. So number one, the most successful people I see, they are intentional. They create their life on purpose, which that means goals. This is the time of year where it's great to set your intentions and set your goals for the new year. Now, you know, I think what's interesting is that studies will tell you that only 3%, 3% of our culture has goals that are written down. But you're 80% more likely to achieve a goal if you have a goal written down. So That begs the question why that's true. And I think one of the reasons that's true is because people think they're doing it wrong, right? There's all these rules around goal setting. And the first thing I want to tell you is if you are setting goals, goals are deeply personal. If you're doing it and you're writing it down, you're not doing it wrong. However, one of the things I like to do is also be intentional about every area of my life. And I think most of us, when we go to set goals, we talk about finance and we talk about fitness, right? We want to make more money and we want to lose 10 pounds and have six pack abs, right? But I think it's important for us to have well-rounded goals. So I like to set goals around the five F's. The five F's of goal setting are finance, fitness, family, faith, and fun. I like to create at least one goal in each of those areas so that I can create a a year and a life intentionally. I've heard that if you aren't creating your life on purpose, you become a role actor in somebody else's movie. So I would like to implore you. I think the most successful people in 2024 will be intentional about goal setting. As another side note for me, this is just something that helps me. Setting yearly goals is really hard for me because that's a long time to be paying attention, right? And so I think 12-week year goals, there's a book called The 12-Week Year, where you essentially set aggressive big goals, but you do it in 12-week increments, so essentially a quarter each time. That helps me kind of stay in mind, because let's say I'm doing a workout goal, and I'm here in Las Vegas for a week, you know, it's, if I don't, if, you know, if I'm thinking about a yearly goal, and I just miss a whole, a week of workouts, it's no big deal. But if it's a 12-week year goal and I miss a week, that's a whole month. And so it can really have a big impact on your goals. So A, come up with your goals. B, write them down. And consider putting them in shorter time frames so that you can uh, stay on top of them. So the first thing, the first thing I'm seeing successful people do in 2024 is to be intentional and to set goals. Number two, they will be positive. So studies will tell you that if you are about to do a stressful thing, which of course all of us are dealing with stress every day, if you put a boost of positivity into your brain right before you do that stressful activity, you actually will perform better. They actually did a study with doctors, physicians, where they gave them a lollipop right before they went in to uh, diagnose a patient. And they didn't let them eat the the lollipop. They just gave it to them. They literally just gave them a lollipop, had them put it in their pockets. The people who got the lollipop, the doctors, the, you know, some of these most educated people on the earth, (laughs) they got a lollipop, they put it in their their pocket. They actually were more accurate with their diagnosis. So if that's true for those folks, it's true for you too. If you're about to work on a difficult project, you're going to do something that's stressful, Taking yourself to your happy place can actually have a positive impact on how you perform. So Happy Gilmore, the, the, the movie, they were actually right. Go to your happy place before you do something, and it will have a positive impact on how you perform. Now, when I talk about this, one of the challenges or the pushbacks I get back is, okay, great. So if you're a positive person, this is great news. But what if I'm not naturally a positive person? Great news. There's a way to hack it. And that hack is through gratitude because the human mind is a fascinating thing. You can't do two things at once, right? 
So you cannot be both grateful and negative at the same time. So if you want to do a boost of positivity that can put your mindset into a better place, one of the things that you can do is a simple gratitude exercise. And when you do that, a, a funny thing happens. When you start to search out for things to be grateful for, they start to show up. You tell your reticular activating system that that is important to you. And I, I call it the red Toyota effect. Like if you decide to buy a red Toyota, the day before you buy it, you might, like, gosh, nobody has this car. But the day after you buy it, oh, my God, there's red Toyotas everywhere. It's because you've told your subconscious brain that red Toyotas are important. The same thing happens with gratitude. When you make it a point to, for 30 days, look for things to be grateful for, it's amazing how those things start to show up. And by doing those simple gratitude exercises, that can be the boost of positivity that will help you be more successful in 2024. Number three, the most successful people in 2024 will learn, grow, and change. Several years ago, I started a challenge with myself where I challenged myself to read 50 books in a year. I did this because they said that I read a study that said the average CEO reads about 50 books a year. The average American reads less than one. And I wanted to earn more like a CEO than one of the average Americans. It was life-changing. It not only do, did it uh, kind of create new ways that I could do in my business, it built me up, it made me think differently, and the most successful people are consistently looking for ways to do that. If you're looking for ways to do that, um, Obviously, the PPAI group does a great job. There's tons of live education that you can do here, but I know that they are working on coursework for the online education and the certifications, and I think that's coming soon. So please, if you want to be successful in 2024, invest in yourself. Look to learn, grow, and change. I actually I heard something the other day. When I run into somebody and I say, 10 years ago, you're exactly the same person, that's not a compliment right? Those people have been living the same six months over and over. They haven't lived 10 years worth of experience. They've lived the, lived the last six months 20 times in a row. So I would encourage you to look for ways to, to evolve, to learn, grow, and change. And I think that's what one of the things that the most successful people in 2024 will do. I've promised you four. So the fourth one is the most successful people do deep work. Multitasking is a myth, folks. It doesn't work. Now, the push, I, this is one of the things I get pushed back more than anything I talk about it. And it's funny because there's more studies about this than there are anything else. The human brain can focus on one thing at a time. It does it really fast, so sometimes we can, we can be tricked into thinking that multitasking works. But if you want to think deeply about something, you can only focus on one thing at a time. Can you walk and chew gum? Can you have a... a, a cocktail at eye candy while talking to somebody? Sure, but you're, neither of those things take deep work. If you want to do deep work and the most successful people in 2024 will be doing deep work, you can't be multitasking. So that might look like batching activities. So if you're going to do content, for example, this is actually a question I've gotten a lot this week. How do I create so much content? One of the ways I create a lot of content is I batch my activities. When my brain is in a place where I'm doing uh, interviews or I'm writing or I'm creating videos, I try to do them all at the same time and batch them out. Not only do I get more done, but I'm more, my brain is more effective when I'm doing that. So if you want to get more done, be more productive, and quite frankly, be more happy in 2024, I would encourage you to try and do more deep work, do batching of activities so that you can do that. So those four things again are be intentional, be positive, push a little bit of positivity in your brain before you have to make big decisions or do that deep work. Look to learn, grow, and change as much as you can. It's just more fun that way too, by the way. And then look for ways to do deep work. Stop trying to multitask when you're doing important things. All it does is get you off track. So those, this is my uh, quick update from PPAI Expo Live. So honored to be here. So great to see everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful 2024.